Hello, and welcome back to the Mobius Archives. This is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Now, when last we left, we had a little bit of issue on the moon. We, in fact, had to leave one of our Kerbals up there. Um, and the couple that we tried to rescue didn't quite make it. Now we do need we do have a fair bit of science that we can get, and we could get some lander parts. With this one gets us a nice parachute. This one gets us some wheels, and I think I might actually go with this one. Um, we have 580 science, and this advanced science stuff. Oh, I haven't seen this before. Sensor array computing nose cone. Latest in research and developments enable the development of this little marvel, the sensor ray commuting nose cone. It is outfitted with many quality sensors and computer and a computer salvage from the highest quality aircraft scrap, enabling it to collect atmospheric data while in flight. Interesting. Huh. What else do we have up here in the highest reaches of my science? Specialized electrics? Uh, radio isotope thermoelectric generator. Generator is always active. That's interesting. Through explanation. Da, 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 stuff. Rechargeable battery bank. We have some large electrics. We have something here that's not open, probably because we need precision engineering for it. Uh, we have some flight control things, aerodynamics. The question comes what do we want next? Okay, very heavy rocketry, but I think Cybertron Junior. Hmm. Radio attachment port, stack separator. This is not what I'm looking for. So, what I think we need to do is just start building a space station. I think these rover parts will be good later on. Um, getting more science, even on Kerbin is always a good idea. So let's just research this science. Probably not the best idea, but it's an idea. What does this do? Collect atmospheric data while in flight. Okay, that's what's going on here. All right, gotcha. Research. So we now have advanced science technology. So let's go build a rocket ship. But not just any old rocket ship. What we want, let's say a command pod. All right. Um, science. We want sensor array. Oh my, that's small. <laughs> well, it is just for atmospheric data. So let's drop that. Um, utility. Let's toss a parachute on this. Um, let's see. I'm going to have... Let's see, what am I going to have on here? Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hitchhiker. Slap a hitchhiker module on here. Oops. Slap mobile processing lab. Uh, let's see... Slap another hitchhiker. There we go. Nice. Uh, what are we building, you might ask? Oh, that's a good question. It's a very good question. Electric charge, 400. These get 200. Um, actually, I am building... That's not what I wanted. Kind of like that. Yeah. I... I don't know. Put it in the center. I am building... Which one gives me more electric charge? 45 per minute or 2 per second? Definitely not 45 per minute. So 2 per second. Um, 2 by 3, 1 by 6. Do 2 by 3s. And let's just do two of them. Oh, I'm building. 
Suspense. A space station. I need to get people in here somehow. Um, no, we could do that. We can do that. Uh, is it structural? I need... Is it a clamptron? What is it? Control. Dynamic. Utility. Clampatron. Plank. No. Um. Hmm. I need to make the sane. That's always hard for me. And I just need one of those on the bottom. Uh, one of these on the bottom. That's not quite centered. Does it... What? Uh... Yeah. Clampatron. Up there. Now you... Uh, no, that's upside down now. That's right. Huh. Odd. Odd. So let's actually move these panels a bit. I want to slap a clampatron right on this window. So we have a clamptron on the bottom, clamptron on the window. Probably toss another clamptron over here. And maybe I'll move these two. Put them right. Oops. Right behind the window. Oh, I lost one. Yeah, put them right behind the window. And then for an alternative docking. Here and all right, we'll just leave it at that. So we only can put one there if we want to still have access to this, to this door. All right, so that is our science lab. I could probably toss some sciency stuff on it too. They want to take measurements and stuff like that. This will only really work once. Oops. And we need something to transmit data. We don't need windows, right? All right. And something to transmit data. Data transmission device, where are you? All right. So we have a nice little sciencey ship. I did decide to take on some sensor array computing nose cones uh, just for our takeoff. Uh, so I'll transmit this data as we fly. Um, I could even get it processed in the mobile processing lab if we can. Um, so we'll have a couple solid rocket boosters in this stage here, which may or may not make it to orbit. If it does not make it to orbit, I doubt this has enough strength um, to prevent this entire part from crashing into the ocean or whatnot. So we'll go and see whether these Kerbal Surprise in our science-y... Science? E? Seance? The Psy... Craft. Thingy. Ma Bob. Ma Psycraft thingy. Station. One. <laughs> because I have a feeling it's not going to be the only one. And I want some capitalization there. Science craft thingy station one. All right, let's save that. Who's our crew? We don't need a full crew, but Geoflash, Bobble, and Lulorf. They'll do. Um, I'll actually move Bobble and Lulorf into our mobile processing lab. So when we are taking this data, we'll be able to process it immediately. And let's save and launch. All right. So I think this is the first time I've used these new engines and I don't think I strapped them to the rocket quite properly. Sorry guys. And uh five, four, three, two, one.
Whoa, that's slow. I'll be with you guys. SAS on. I'll be with guys in a second. Huh. Well, that wasn't quite successful. We ran out of fuel well before getting to orbit. I am just going to... Orbit flight to vehicle assembly and rebuild this thing. Alright, so this launch vehicle isn't quite as pretty as the last one. I decided to go back to the mainsail, but I'm using four of these um, rockets now um, for the solid fuel boosters. Um, the interesting thing about this, if you look at it, it doesn't generate any electricity. And so that was one of the things um, at the top of our orbit, we ran out of power. Uh, plus, I was processing uh, one of these modules at the time, too. So let's just go and launch. All right. So from KSP, from Launchpad, temperature and pressure readings suggest today is as good time for flying as any. Process in our lab module. Speed up time. Oof. And it's only done 5%. That doesn't seem right at all. I'm guessing it doesn't take time warp into effect for processing in the lab module because just a few days passed and it's running at about the same speed. All right. Well, we are now in the sunlight. Let's hit F5. Quick save. Because quick save. And... SES on. Everything looks good to go. And launch. Might as well take this atmosphere analysis and process in the lab as well. And once we get higher, I'll do a couple more analysis, C's, analyses, and uh, we'll see. I'll see you in a bit. Wow, well, this isn't going to end well. These guys are going to crash into the ocean. I think I'll revert this flight back to the... Revert this flight again and see if we can get a better outcome. No, I can't revert flight because I loaded from quick save. Well, and these guys get an ocean landing, but I can do this. Decouple node. And so if this was a viable station, which at this point it is not, well... We'll see. Anyways, we have a small window. Let's hit a five. Quick save. EVA. I need you. To get back in the command pod. Before we get into the atmosphere board. Bubble, you too. That wasn't too bad. Grab. <laughs> Just stand on the capsule, why don't you? And board. All right. And we will see you after we crash land. <laughs> yep, as I expected, the ship ripped apart on landing, but we were able to save our Kerbals this time. For once. And we got a slight bit of science. Point two. Uh... <clears throat> All right, I think this is uh, the Mark III down on the launch pad. Uh, we have the liquid fuel booster, the solid fuel boosters, and this fuel tank and engine. From the last time, I slapped on a bunch. Lights. Oh, too bright. Uh, I slapped on a br bunch of lights, a bunch of batteries uh, to help out resources. We have everybody in this capsule this time, uh, which should help out a bit. I removed a couple of the science experiments that don't work in the atmosphere and I removed these atmospheric uh, nose cones. 
actually. Log gravity data. The sensor seems to think it's being calibrated. Let's, uh, let's just keep that and launch in five, four, three, two, one. Well, check our staging. That wasn't quite right. Go. SES. Yes. Now I'll see whether this makes it to orbit. If it does, I'll join you there. All right. All right, I think we finally did it. Uh, have a stable orbit. It's 77 by 169. We have just a touch of fuel left. Oh, I know what I forgot to add onto here. I forgot to add in a monopropellant tank. That would have been useful. Well, for our next station, maybe we'll get that added. But to now, we'll just tumble through space. Base apparently. Knock it off. Uh, alright, this has been Mobius Rex for the Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave us a like. We've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed it. We'd appreciate it greatly. Um, where's my other solar panel? Alright, we've made it to orbit. And I'm just looking for my other solar panel here. Which is. Is that it? No. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Extend panel. We're just tumbling. <laughs> We're just tumbling through space right now. Why not? Oh, is it because my SAS is going all wonky? Yeah, let's point north. Point north. Yeah, my driving skills is not the best. That's. Not the way... Oops. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this joystick yet. So it's giving me a little bit of trouble. Anywho. Uh, we have a nice stable orbit. Stable meaning we won't crash into the planet. 77 by 169. We even have a little bit of fuel left. So that's good. This has been Mobius Rex from the Mobius Archives. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave us a like. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and if you have any comments or suggestions, this tumbling I'll try to get sorted out before the uh, the next episode, because we we really can't uh, can't live with that, because um, that's going to make it almost impossible to dock with. All right. Uh, let us know your comments and ideas and suggestions, and uh, we'll be back with you next week. Have a good day, and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.